Steph Curry speaks about his recent knee injuries. Check out the video. Uh, how, how are your knees feeling? Uh, they feel good tonight. It's a rough start. I got to to play better in the first half. Um, get myself going. Just kind of testing it out, seeing how they respond with the little break, but it was good uh, all the way through. So when you miss a little bit, of, I mean, when I was on one game, the juices started flowing in the second half, and um, hopefully that carries over personally. But we had a, a lot to figure out as a team. Is what you're dealing with physically different than in past years? I mean, yeah. Um, has a potential like a nagging type thing if you don't take care of it. And thankfully, Rick has been great trying to give me a protocol to kind of stick with on a day to day, and knowing that's something I can get ahead of and not, you know, chase throughout the year, which is the plan. So uh, I'm not worried about it, not concerned about it at all. It's just uh, the deeper you get into your career, the more things pop up, and you just gotta, you know, figure it out. Is that? Maybe why your I mean your minutes I think are like twenty nine per game round. Number one, are you okay with that? And is that where they need to be? What game was it? Oh, nineteen I think. This might be a, this is not a nine, may not be right. Uh the first two weeks was weird as we were a couple yeah. blowouts and missed the fourth quarters. Um uh, a couple games where some extended breaks that you understand it's a long season. Every player wants to play more minutes, including myself. Um, I think I can. I know I can. But you try to figure out a way to take advantage of the minutes that you're out there. And you know our rotations are a little different this year. You know we have so many guys. Um, and when you're winning, it's fun. When you're not, questions pop up. That's how the league goes. We have to respond as a team. It's not just about how many minutes I'm playing. It's how to get everybody in unison on um, what we're trying to do out there, uh, no matter what the, the combinations are. So uh, if that means playing more minutes, then you do it. The first topic on a kind of the maintenance with the knees. I mean, do you think you'll, you'll have to, you know, spot rest more games this season? Not sure. Um, honestly, I was happy to get through this one playing 30 and not feeling it go the other way, feeling like I was pretty strong. I got stronger as the game went on, and they responded well. Whether that's a back-to-back here or there or whatever, we'll decide that as we go through. But I'm just trying to control like how I feel and know that it's not a forced decision. It's like a smart decision, if that makes sense. Um, that's all I'm trying to make make possible. Is one knee worse than the other? You had tape on one and... So no, that's, that's, I've had that for a while. That's okay. different. That's different. They were both the same. Though. Gotcha. It's the nature of being a professional in this league. It's always difficult to predict what's going to happen. We have a very unique circumstance with this team just because we've come in with the strength and numbers philosophy and you want it to work and you want it to prove itself correct. We're on a four-game losing streak, so you have to make adjustments, um, whatever that means. And... Everybody has to be ready for what they're asked to do. And if you're not playing, you have to stay sharp. It's hard as hell. No two ways around it. Um, Mo played two minutes and then Kyle played like seven. seven. Like three games ago, Mo had a, you know, the Brooklyn game, he had a stretch in the first half where he had 15 and played four minutes a second. It's just hard for everybody. So um, coaches job is to again make those tough decisions it's our job to help him if you're not playing don't pout don't bring the locker room down it doesn't help anybody including yourself and hopefully we turn the ship around and everybody's you know happy again okay does do you think the rotation <coughs> needs to shorten it was 13 tonight in the first 14 minutes or something i mean only thing i'll say is it is hard for anybody to know or try to get a rhythm and know you know what you're going to be asked to do. <laughs> but then, I think the first quarter, the second quarter, we had we used to play 13 guys. Yeah. Um, that's that's tough. That's, we are a unique team. It's a unique situation. I don't think that's been done in the league probably ever. But it is an 82 game schedule, and you got to figure out uh, what adjustments you need to make. 
to your question, do we shorten it? We probably need to be a little bit more predictable on a night-to-night -night basis so guys can get a little bit of a rhythm. Is that shortening one or two guys maybe? But uh, the first unit, we didn't start off well tonight, so that was a little bit on us. Try to claw our way back, you know, into the first, and then we hit a little low. Um, and whether that's rotations, whether that's lack of execution, whether that's guys just not being in rhythm, whatever it is, we got to adjust. Is it hard for you? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.